All right. Well, we're off a of day two in front of this board. Obviously, means some good. Actually, day three if we go back to the uh, pre-tournament. <laughs> um, great, another great round today. You start with a 65, finish it this morning, Correct. turn right around, come back up with a 67. Just two bogeys through 36 holes. Uh, if I haven't teed you up enough, tell me how good you're feeling. No, I'm feeling really good. I, I really am. I think my game's like in a, in a spot right now where I'm very comfortable, especially de- dealing with the nerves I've had mm-hmm. the last couple of days. Um, I've been able to manage them fairly well. Yeah. Um, overall, really happy, to tell you the truth. A couple poor swings, but that's part of it. Uh, but I, I think uh, my caddy and I did a really good job of just kind of staying on the safe sides and uh, – Rolling the putter really well, so I, as long as I have a look, it doesn't matter if it's 20, 30, 40 feet, I still feel comfortable. So I think that's it. right now that's our game plan, and, mm-hmm. and whenever we can attack, we'll try to attack a pin or two. I've known you for a long time, and one of the things that's always stood out about me is that you're always very mild-mannered. You're, you don't ever seem to get either ahead of yourself or behind yourself or too, too hot, too cold. You're very balanced. Was that something you had to work at to get to that level, or do you even agree that you are – that mild mannered. Uh, I actually think I'm hot tempered. You know, <laughs> um, no, out there, yes, I'm trying to focus just on what I, whatever I have in front of me. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to really stay in the present. Like this this morning and yesterday morning before I went, I kind of came in earlier because I was already having too many thoughts in my head, mm-hmm. what could happen, you know, and all those things. So I was just trying to get rid of them and kind of go to the gym and spend some more time. But um. I try to keep a level head out there. I will get upset, you know, after a poor swing or whatnot, but I, I really get back to it fairly fast. And, um, yeah, you know, it's nice to, to feel the crowd here. It, it truly is, especially for Friday. I felt that a lot of people came out to support, and that's honestly extremely good. And, and it makes me feel really, really happy about where this game's going. And um, you know, hopefully we can have a couple more more days. I feel I'm hitting it extremely well and and putting really well so as long, yeah. as long as i kind of manage the nerves a little bit um at least if i can keep managing the nerves the way i'm managing them right now i think I'll, I'll be fine for the weekend just two more for me and then we'll open it up if anybody else has questions um not only are you at the top of the leaderboard that's stressful enough but you're doing so here in puerto rico i know you've been asked this question a lot but how difficult is it to manage the expectations, the everybody that wants to see yeah. you and shake your hand and get your autograph. I'm happy I'm playing good. I, I really am because um, I know these guys are coming out because they want to see some good golf. Um, it's very difficult, Doug. I mean, it, it truly is. I have a lot of pressure, a lot of stress um, out there. But the truth is I try to really blank out and, uh, and, mm-hmm. and not really pay attention to what's going on in my surroundings. Um, Obviously, I know what they want at the end of the week, and, and it would be my dream as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, I'm just trying to honestly, you know, hit the next shot and, and, and kind of play smart. And like I said, I, I think I, I feel the game's in a really good spot right now. Um, you know, it's just tougher here in Puerto Rico, just knowing I want to win. And my final question, um, we talked a little bit earlier in the week about your, your physical fitness and your commitment to that. Um, have you noticed a big difference in your ability to make it through 18, 36, 72 holes with this <laughs> smoking hot body you got these days? Uh, yes, I have. You know, it's, uh, it's really cool. You know, it's a sacrifice. But um, this morning I was out here at 445 with my trainer and all those things. So I knew it was going to be a long day, but I feel that if I don't do these things, mm-hmm. um, I will feel a little kind of clumsy or, or lazy throughout mm-hmm. the round. So uh, I do feel that it really has helped me drastically. And, and these long days, and especially yesterday with the delays, you know, I really feel good. You know, I could go out there and play. I don't want to. You know, I think I'm mentally a little tired right now. But um, physically, I feel great. Um, just nothing bothering me, which is a huge plus. You know, just being able to play a season last year and everything um, without injuries, that was – huge goal of mine so uh, as long, I'll keep on doing them you know my trainer's really happy to wake up at four o'clock in the morning sometimes but uh, I know tomorrow we'll we'll kind of sleep in a little bit more and our our workout's going to be a little later so that's going to be nice for both of us definitely one of the perks to having a uh, top of the leaderboard to uh, late tea time that's true exactly exactly <laughs> I'm like I finished early so I'm good you know <laughs>